in these problems, we are multiplying decimals by powers of 0 0.1, so 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001. And the way to think about this, you know, if you multiply something just by one, it doesn't change. It doesn't change the number. When you multiply by 0.1 or 0 0.01 or even by 10 or 100, all those powers, uh, uh, you know, ones with zeros in one direction or the other, you're not really changing the number. You're changing where the decimal point is. So if I started with 2.6 and I multiplied it by one, it just equals 2.6. If I multiply it by 10, so 2.6 times 10, it's going to be 26. So what we did was we moved the decimal place one point to the right. Now, when we're doing 0.1, what we do is we move the decimal place the other direction. So it goes one place to the left. So that would be 0.26. And if you multiply by 0 0.001 or 0 0.01, you've got two places behind the decimal point. So you move the decimal point two places. And then if there's an extra place here, you fill it in with a zero. So 2.6 times 0 0.01 would be 0 0.026. So let's see how this works in a couple of these problems. This first one says multiply 23.9 times 0 0.1. The 0 0.1, just, that's just one place uh, in the decimal, means we move this decimal one place to the left. So this becomes 2.39. All right, let's try another one. This one, we have 98.6 times 0 0.001. So that's 1, 2, 3 places uh, on the decimal here. So we move the decimal point three places to the left. One, two, three. So the decimal point goes here. And in this blank spot, we have to fill in with a zero. So the answer here is 0 0.0986.